there's a lot more to DC beyond its memorials and museums. Hi, my name is Joanne Hill, and I'm the author of Secret Washington, D.C., A Guide to the Weird, Wonderful, and Obscure. While I'm not originally from Washington, I have proudly caught it home for the last 19 years. As you can see all around me, D.C. is known for its majestic monuments, world-renowned museums, and amazing memorials. Secret D.C. will show you all the off-the-beaten path rich history, and secret locations hidden throughout the city. Of course, the allure of Washington, D.C. often comes through its monuments and memorials, like this one, the World War II Memorial. People visit this memorial from all around the globe, and for very good reason. However, many don't know that there is a hidden sketch that's actually known as graffiti that was very popular during World War II. Behind the Pennsylvania pillar at the World War II Memorial, you can see an engraving of a big-nosed, bald man, and the words, Kilroy was here. What started as a simple doodle for one American Conrad soon could be found all over the world. Eventually, Kilroy was known to bring comfort to every American soldier who laid eyes on it. No graffiti here, just a little bit of comfort. At the National Gallery of Art, one of the premier art museums in the entire world. Well, did you know that before the National Gallery of Art, this used to be a railroad? And this was the exact location where President James Garfield was assassinated. Not only was he assassinated, but the story behind his assassination that ended his term and presidency of just four months is fascinating, bizarre, and downright. On July 2nd, 1881, James Garfield, our 20th president, who had only served as president for four months, was shot by lawyer Charles J. Guiteau, a resentful and unstable man seeking to gain political power and revenge. After delivering a few small local speeches supporting Garfield during the election, he believed that he was responsible for Garfield's victory. He began stalking the president and made unreasonable demands. Angered and fueled by Garfield's dismissal and rejection, Gateau set out to shoot Garfield at the present day site of the National Gallery of Art. One of my all time favorite stories in Secret Washington, D.C. comes from this amazing carousel located on the National Mall, loved by families and kids all over the world. Did you know that the National Carousel actually is steeped in history and played a role in the Civil Rights Movement? On August 28, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his powerful I Have a Dream speech before a crowd of some 250,000 people during the March on Washington. On that same day, about 45 miles away outside of Baltimore, Gwyn Oak Amusement Park discontinued segregation. An 11-month-old baby named Sharon Langley was the first African-American child to go on a ride there and rode the classic carousel, which was originally located in the park, along with two white children. The three children riding the carousel together exemplified King's message of integration and racial harmony. Now more than ever, we recognize the importance of being outside staying safe and being socially distanced. So many places in and around DC are featured in my book, Secret Washington DC, A Guide to the Weird, Wonderful and Obscure.